More games and shenanigans out there with President Trump's court case. Completely unprecedented maneuvering from the judge in that case. We have to talk about this. We also have an update on Hurricane Barrel and the historic moment that we have with that. Alabama out there telling residents to conserve water while other parts of the United States getting far too much water. We have updates on hypersonic missiles, uh, pet re uh, food recall, and we have other things on today's updates. Welcome to the Poplar Report. I'm Steve Poplar, I'm an accountant by trade, and these are your updates that you guys are sending in from all around the world and keeping us all informed and on the cutting edge of what's going on out there. Please do keep your updates coming in. Make sure you use the word update in your comment in order to make sure it gets to the right place and give some sort of geographical location if you can. We do want to thank our sponsor before we dive in, Genesis Gold Group. They help people with retirement accounts. You can also uh, purchase silver and gold from them if you have larger orders that you want to put through or if you want to invest in things like the Prepper Bar. Uh, prepper Bars are pretty awesome and it's a unique product that's made here in America. Um, reach out to them. There'll be a link at the end of the video as well as down in the description down below. Hurricane Barrel. Uh, this is the earliest Category 5 hurricane on record. Now, it's not looking like it's going to hit the United States directly just yet. It looks like um, on Sunday morning, it may brush southern Texas. So um, it will lose a bunch of its power because it's going to go right into the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico, it looks like. Uh, so Friday morning, uh, it's going to do a direct hit on Cancun and, and the Yucatan Peninsula. It looks like it's going to brush by Haiti and Cuba as well hitting it uh, with its sides, but it's gonna do a head, head first plow into the Yucatan, and then after that, we'll see what happens. It, oftentimes when it hits land, it starts changing course or dif dissipating very quickly. It's possible that it may bend back into the Gulf of Mexico, regain strength, and then hit the United States from the south, uh, but that's not what it's projected to do. But the earliest Category 5 hurricane on record, We've never had one this early in the season before, and that just shows you uh, what we might be in for this year with this extremely warm water out in the, the South Atlantic and the, uh, the Atlantic Ocean. Uh, this is just breeding ground for hurricanes, and uh, that isn't changing. So be bracing yourself uh, if you're in the Southern United States for a very active hurricane season. President Trump's sentencing has been pushed back to September uh, for his felony conviction uh, for federal election law, which uh, violation, which is uh, somehow being prosecuted by a local prosecutor uh, in a local court, which doesn't really make any sense at all. But um, that would be cleared up in an appeal, but that appeal cannot happen until the sentencing has taken place. So it really does seem like the judge is basically trying to make it sure that no appeals court gets to touch this thing until after most people in the United States have voted. And if that doesn't seem shady to you, I, I don't know what planet you're on because the fact is that um, he could potentially get relief from an appeals court before the election, but with this sentencing being pushed back, uh, that makes that impossible. Just more and more shenanigans. This is not how... Uh, court cases are supposed to be conducted, and they're out there pretending like this is a favor to Donald Trump when, in fact, it is a slap in his face and uh, making it harder and harder for him to run for president. The U.S. has conducted a test of its first hypersonic missile, uh, Dark Eagle. China and Russia have fielded production, like they've deployed hypersonic missiles, whereas the United States has not moved any of its designs out of testing. Uh, but it looks like Dark Eagle may be getting close to the end of its uh, testing period. Um, this is a very, very big deal. I know some of you guys out there who aren't tracking all along with all this kind of stuff will say, ah, we already have hypersonic missiles. No, friends, we have ballistic missiles. And people will be like, well, what about the hypersonic glide vehicles? Well, there's ballistic missiles that do travel hypersonic speeds. There are hypersonic glide vehicles that do travel at hypersonic speeds, but neither of them are hypersonic missiles. A hypersonic missile is a powered 
uh, missile that can actually achieve hypersonic speeds within the atmosphere. So a ballistic missile does achieve hypersonic missile, um, speeds in the atmosphere, but it's not powered. So it, it can't steer at all. The hypersonic glide vehicle can steer, but it doesn't have power. It doesn't have a rocket attached to it. It doesn't have a scramjet. Um, it, it cannot, it, there's a limit to how much it can maneuver, right? Whereas hypersonic missiles um, stay within the atmosphere and they can maneuver very effectively and they uh, are very good at, uh, they're the best things out there at evading enemy air defenses, right? And the fact that the United States does not have one of these, um, wh whereas China has them on warships and on aircraft, and Russia has them on aircraft and on from ground-mounted systems as well as Navy ships now. Uh, shows that the United States has indeed fallen behind, and this has become one of the highest priorities in the U.S. military is to achieve hypersonic missiles. Um, so this is a very big deal, and we will continue to track it, even though I know some of you guys out there <laughs> poo-poo it. Um, Shirley says, uh, Viva Raw... Uh, has issued a voluntary recall of dog and cat food, including select Viva Turkey recipes. Um, it's going to be lot 21244 due to potential Listeria health risk to people and pets. FDA, that's according to the FDA site. Now, also, we were also going to throw that out there. Don't eat dog and cat food, okay? Um, <laughs> Does that need to be said? Apparently, since they say that this is a risk to humans as well. Uh, don't eat the dog and cat food. Don't use the same utensils that you, you know, pull your dog and cat food out with without washing it, right? This shouldn't have to be said, and yet, um, and yet, here we are. Uh, Rooster says, um, North Alabama residents are being asked to irrigate responsibly. Wouldn't you like to hear that? Phone calls and emails are going out about not using much water. This is North Alabama. Uh, we have a bit of lack of rainfall and just some issues there. Texas, of course, has uh, areas where it's been drenched. And then you got Minnesota, you got some of these other states where dams are having serious issues uh, because they're getting way too much rain. But then you turn around and you see some other places in the U.S. that just aren't getting enough. Um, things are interesting out there, that's for sure. Uh, if we get Hurricane Barrel to turn up towards uh, uh, the, southern, uh, the, the southern Gulf Coast, that, that could change things pretty fast. Might get a whole bunch of rain off of that. Uh, Curtis says, uh, took Toyota in for brakes and oil change. CDK system is still down. Uh, they are working around it, uh, but it is causing problems. They were apologizing to customers for ordering the wrong parts, etc. Hope it's up soon. So, um, yeah, it seems to be down still. It's, it's patchy. Some places are reporting that CDK is back up and running uh, where they are. Others are saying it's not up. So, I don't know. Hard to say. Uh, there isn't a clear definitive answer on that. Maybe some companies, maybe some uh, dealerships have uh, their integrations working again. Some do not. Uh, Marsha says, I'm a veteran uh, living in Columbia, South Carolina area, and I get a number of medications from the VA. For years, I received a 90-day supply automatically in the mail. This past year, I have been receiving only a 30-day supply of certain meds, not the 90-day supply as before. I called the pharmacy tech phone number and they told me that for certain meds, they can only send out 30 day supply each month because of lessening supply levels. Not because they're trying to save people or keep those things from getting out on the streets, but because they don't have the supply level, friends. We keep telling you that medications are short out there. Um, if you don't have a backup supply for your prescriptions and you can afford it, uh, you know, someone like Jace Medical, uh, they do a fantastic job helping people get uh, stocked up. So you can get your medication, a emergency supply prescribed to you. Uh, so if you ever have to travel or if you just can't get your medication otherwise, uh, you can get that, um, that st supply for you so that you can get through a short period without having your medication. 
Um, Jace Medical also has a, a sale going on right now. Make sure you check down for uh, promo codes uh, down in the description down below. I'll put that in the pinned comment as well, um, just in case uh, you haven't looked at that recently. Uh, I think they have a summer sale going on right now. I'll make sure the most up-to-date codes are on that. Um, but, uh, you know, uh, so the VA can't even do this. Uh, uh, Marcia says, seems like it's a form of silent rationing. And with uh, some of the uh, diabetic drugs and insulin and stuff like that, it's absolutely, it's in shortage. There's no way around it. It's, a sh it's in shortage. Uh, June says, uh, I live in southwestern Virginia. Went to Walmart yesterday, Monday, July 1st, after 5 p.m. Uh, just needed a few things, but always pay attention to the aisles to see how well they are stocked. And it was the worst I had seen since the pandemic. Empty shelves on every aisle, uh, very little noodles, pasta, coffee, chips, only bread uh, was, only bread, and uh, it was expensive. Now, I haven't been hearing that from anyone else, so it looks like you may have just missed a truck, uh, but we will keep our ear to the ground on that. If anyone else is seeing issues like that, especially in the Virginia area, um, Western Virginia, uh, let us know about that. Make sure you just use the word update in your, uh, in your comment to make sure it gets to the right place. Uh, PDK Race, update Phoenix. Had issues with my cable. Uh, had to uh, had an appointment with a repair guy on Sunday evening. Uh, then was changed to Tuesday. Then changed again to Thursday. When asked, there was just not enough employees. I fixed it myself. That's where we're headed. Where you're just going to have to basically just fix stuff yourself, right? Uh, maybe they'll, they'll walk you through it on the phone. Uh, for wiring stuff, they probably won't. Uh, G says, uh, wildfires are starting up in the back country of San Diego County uh, in the areas where thousands of others are crossing, you know, the line and setting up campfires. Uh, we're just going into fire season now, and it's likely that lives will be lost through these campfire-caused wildfires. And if you see the maps out there, Alaska has fires all over it. Um, but I, I will point this out again. Uh, you won't hear this from the climate alarmists out there, but uh, wildfire acreage has actually been decreasing over the last bunch of years. So less and less acres have actually been burning. So we'll keep up to date with what's going on with the wildfires. But um, if it's not a more serious wildfire season than other seasons, I mean, as horrific and, and tragic as it is in the individual instance, um, you know, there's all these doomsayers out there like, oh, that fire is definitely due to, you know, the climate and stuff. When in fact, when in fact, what we're seeing out there is actually less wildfires across the United States than, uh, than in previous decades. So... Uh, that is what it is, but um, and a lot of those fires are started intentionally. So there's that too, intentionally and also due to negligence. Uh, Sasha says, uh, hi, Steve, went to Redner's yesterday in Lehigh Valley, Pennsylvania. Needed ricotta cheese, and there was barely anything there. Right next to it was space for cottage cheese, but that was also empty. Needed eggs, so I went to get eggs, usually buy a double pack of 18 per pack. Uh, they wrapped them together, but that was totally empty. They did have 18 packs separated, but of course they cost more per egg. Uh, I've been going to the same store for five years now. Never saw empty shelves like that before. Thanks for the great info. And it's a comment like that because that's in Pennsylvania. That's relatively close enough to Virginia. I thought seeing those two comments uh, that it was worthwhile passing that along. Uh, Standing on Faith says, for months on end, there was no dry Walmart brand cat food. Uh, finally got some in, so I bought two bags. My barn cats refused to eat it, so ants took over the bowl. I had to buy Meow Mix to, get, uh, to mix it in with the Walmart brand. They eat now, but leave the Walmart brand and still refuse to eat it. Uh, don't even see the raccoons and possums eating it in the night. It is still there in the morning. Something is wrong. Once again, that's the Walmart brand cat food. That's from uh, North Florida Panhandle. We're getting more and more reports about GV 
particularly the cat food, but then also issues with uh, GV canned uh, chicken and GV uh, uh, tuna, canned tuna, right? Uh, Lighthawk says, uh, I came into the uh, middle of a conversation between two Walmart employees here in Easton, Maryland. I walked in and uh, the older employee was saying to another younger employee, what they would... Uh, what that would mean for us is that we're going to be running around all day unlocking things for people. I honestly don't know if they were just having a speculative conversation or if the older employee knew something is coming. Personally, I hope they don't start locking everything up behind locked cases. And yet that's exactly what's happening in a lot of places in the country, right? I'd hate to have to hunt down an employee to unlock a case just to see or read the back of an item. Well, friends, uh, that seems to be the way we're going. Uh, Target has finally started trying to enforce their not shoplifting rules um, and uh, starting to confront more and more customers that are shoplifting. We've seen Walmart uh, stepping back from the self-checkout lines, checking more receipts. We've also seen them out there locking up more and more products in particularly troublesome neighborhoods and troublesome stores. Right, And that's probably going to continue moving that way because we have uh, lots of people in the United States who think that they are entitled to steal whatever they want. And friends, that is not how a society actually functions. People aren't entitled to anything just because they breathe. They have to work for it. They are entitled to have the opportunity to work to earn uh, things. That's, that's, how, that's how life works. That's how this uh, country works. And if they're trying to change that, uh, there's a lot of people that are going to be uh, not on board with it changing that direction. All right, friends, uh, please do keep your updates coming in. If you want to get some more information from Genesis Gold, there's a link right there on the screen. If you want to get more information from about J uh, Jace Medical uh, down in the pinned comment. And if you want to check out another video from this channel, there's one right up there. Thanks so much for watching. Steve Poplar of the Poplar Report.